Don't tell anybody I told you this. Especially don't tell Joe Biden. I don't think that there should be any debates. I do not think that the president of the United States has comported himself in a way that anybody should, and, and that has any association with truth, evidence, data, and facts. I wouldn't, I wouldn't legitimize a conversation with him. I thought what he did in the uh, 2016 was disgraceful, stalking Hillary Clinton like that. I think that he'll probably act in a way that is beneath the dignity of the presidency. He does that every day. Yep, you heard that right. Yesterday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi saying she doesn't think Joe Biden should debate President Trump. Pelosi volunteered her opinion and, as you heard, didn't even want Joe Biden to hear it at the beginning. Here to weigh in Nan Hayworth, Independent Women's Forum and former Republican New York Congresswoman. Tom Borelli, Newsmax Insider, contributor, America's Voice News. Good to see both of you here today. Nan, I'll start with you. Um, what kind of confidence does that show in her own candidate? She doesn't even want them to debate. No, it shows no confidence, Sean. And as uh, folks have been pointing out, uh, you know, the Democrats have uh, been saying since uh, Trump immemorial, so to speak, that, uh, you know, they can always show him up to be a fraud and a liar and uh, someone whom uh, the American public should have nothing to do with. Uh, and now they're saying, you know, that the debate would be the perfect opportunity for Joe Biden to uh, bring uh, those liabilities to the fore. Or not, not liabilities that I think the president has at all, obviously. Uh, but it's very clear, Sean, that uh, Joe Biden has trouble even reading from notes in friendly uh, situations yeah. with uh, interlocutors. So in a debate with President Trump, he'll be demolished. That's yeah. why the Democrats are pursuing this thing. Well, he already had an interview with Anderson Cooper on CNN and, and confused um, one shooting from another shooting. And this was live with softballs coming at you talking about just, you know, current events. So I, you can't imagine, Tom, a, a, a debate happening. They agree for, for three of them, but there's still question about that, if it'll happen. Well, Shonda, it really should happen, but I think what we're seeing from Speaker Pelosi is really fear and desperation that their strategy of keeping former Vice President Joe Biden bubble-wrapped in the basement is not working. And we saw that in the CNN interview yesterday. The Democrat strategy has always been to try to sit on the lead. He has a lead, let's sit on it. And clearly that's not working because the polls are starting to tighten. We see the, the fabulous RNC convention. Democrats on the wrong side of the riots on that whole issue. So they know there's momentum moving against him. Sean, as you know from sports, sitting on a lead rarely works. It's not gonna work this time. And you really have to wonder how embarrassing is it for a former vice president not to be encouraged to compete for the most important job in the world? Well, your sports it analogy, I just want to say, unless you're the Atlanta Falcons, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's 28-3 blowing that lead. Uh, mean, meanwhile, Biden seems confused as to what message to send regarding the recent rash of violence across the country, implying the Trump administration is, quote, rooting for more violence, not less. Here's that. I had a quote here from Kellyanne Conway. She said, the more chaos and anarchy and vandalism and violence reigns, it equals, it's better for us. It's very clear choice it presents for us. And rather than stoking that fire, Kellyanne Conway made it clear what she meant by her comments and who the better choice is come November. Here she is on that. I also noticed there was a quote today from a restaurateur in Wisconsin saying, are you protesters trying to get Donald Trump reelected? He knows full stop, yeah. and I guess Mayor Pete knows full stop, that the more chaos and anarchy and vandalism and violence reigns, the better it is for the very clear choice on who's best on public safety. So you can make of it what you will if you want to say uh, Joe Biden's speech that was untruthful or perhaps he got confused. Uh, Nan, I'll let you take that away. Uh, Joe Biden, again, Sean, it's very clear he, he has trouble even reading off a script. Uh, and he is not capable of carrying a, a line of argument forward. But here's the fundamental problem that we have. It is the Democratic Party. It is uh, his own running mate, Kamala Harris, who said in an interview with Stephen Colbert, 
uh, that the, she called them protests, but she, obviously, the rest of the country knows them as riots, that they will continue. They will continue indefinitely, and she welcomes it. And she was smiling as she said it, Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, America knows, the America sees the destruction in Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, and knows that Democrats are the ones who are holding back the police, whose policies have created the conditions in vulnerable communities after decades of uh, inefficiency and ineffectiveness. So it, the, the violence that we see does repel people, certainly, from the Democratic Party. We want to see peace. We want to see safety. We want to see everyone treated well. Only the Republicans will fight for that. Tom Borelli. Well, sure, Sean. Well, Democrats, really, this strategy now is really just to get on TV, even with Biden lying about the facts. In a recent uh, same day yesterday, uh, he lied on CNN saying that President Trump never condemned the white supremacists, which he absolutely did. The big picture here is, Sean, Democrats know they're starting to lose the black voter. They're seeing that in their polls. So Biden and the rest of the Democrats are going to be out there throwing the race card. It's not going to work this time. A recent Rasmussen's poll, head-to-head, -head, Biden against President Trump. President Trump was getting 29 percent of the black vote. In 2016, they got about 8 percent. Democrats are frightened, so all they're going to be doing is going on TV, lying about the riots and lying about the race card. Yeah, I think another Zogby poll put it even higher than that in the 30 percent range for that exact same vote there. You are seeing the change and you are seeing the theme change with the Democrats. And it's, it's beginning to happen during the RNC, mind you. Uh, I've got to go I'm out of time. Nan Hayworth, Tom Brelli, thank you so much. We appreciate it.